Okay, in this video, I will show you how to integrate Bootstrap theme. That is the the Bootstrap theme that we downloaded. Like in the earlier video, I showed you which Bootstrap theme that we are going to integrate. And uh, I can even show you here. So we are going to integrate this theme. Uh, if I open this, you can see we are going to integrate this theme into a Laravel 12 application. So this is a Bootstrap 5 theme, and I'm going to integrate it into the application. So without wasting time, let's get started. So I've opened my Laravel website project into this folder. And also my Docker container is running here. I will also provide the code in the description for you to review. And uh, and let's copy paste the file now. Like if I go to this template here, this company uh, template, and if I go to assets, okay, these are all the assets in the folder. So I'll just copy this and I will go to HDDoc then my Laravel website, then into this folder, and then uh, let's paste this into the public directory. So I'll copy paste this here. Okay, you can see that uh, all the files have been included. Okay, so now let's uh, open the, let's open the index.html file. Okay, if I go to my, if I go to the same folder, uh, if I go to the downloads and I go to the theme, okay, company one, and if I open the index file here, so I'll open with this with the VS Code Editor, okay, and uh, let's copy all this content from this file and uh, let's go to resources. Okay, views right now. Welcome is displaying. So let's create a folder here that will be a layouts. Okay, this will be our layouts folder and this will have the master layout. So let's create a new file here that will be master dot blade dot php. And let's copy this file here. Let's save this and uh if i go now to now i'll just go ahead and change the routes so if i go to routes we need to go to web.php route and just type your layout dot master just for the viewing so so this will display the view that we created and if i reload this page now you should see the static content that we imported okay uh, let's wait for some time. So it will load the content. You can see that our content is uh, loaded now from the master layout, but the styles and all are not applied. So we need to add the CSS and uh, we need to give the path to the CSS and the JS files. So to in order to do that, uh, so I'm going to copy this asset link from here, okay? And uh, let's go to the master layout, okay? And uh, we'll change this so we can put, uh, since it, it is already in the assets folder, so we can copy this, okay? Remove this and paste it here. Okay, I'll just copy all of this data over here. So, and then we'll include the path. Okay, now let's include the path. Okay, so this will be vendor. And then this also would be taken from the vendor. Okay, this also will be taken from the vendor. Okay, 
here also i didn't make the change but i'll have to remove this and uh, put this over here okay then i will again go to vendor okay cut this also this we don't require and uh, we'll copy this and paste it here okay we'll copy this and we'll remove this from this path and we'll paste it here okay so we can see we have put uh, the css files now we'll go to the js part okay no okay there is one more file that we missed so we'll have the css and main.css okay we have this over here and then we'll just copy this and uh, let's go to the bottom of the page where we can see the js files so i'll just uh, copy paste this everywhere and then let's include the path okay there are quite a lot of files so okay so here what we are going to do now is we are going to copy it from vendor and we are going to paste it here I'm going to copy all of these files. It took some time, but uh, we'll be able to see the results now soon. So this will be the main.js file, okay? So this is the last file that we are going to import. And uh, now let's reload. Okay, let's reload the application. No, this is our application. So let's reload this and see what comes. So I think it would take some time again. Okay, and you can see that the template has been imported now. And uh, some images won't work because, uh, you know, I have to again put the asset URL here. So if I go here and, uh, okay, let's put it there and let's, uh, let's uh, see where the image is. I will just try to add the uh, you can I can add it here. So if I go and copy this, uh, if I go and copy this path over here, and if I just put the images, okay, so if I change this to this and copy paste this, it should give me the image about image So the carousel images I'll have to put you can
okay so we can see that the about image is coming now also let's work on the images of the uh, slider so i'll see where these images are and uh, we can put this emoji images so if i go to my header section uh you can see that these are the images so I'll have to copy the image path, so I'll just put the asset URL here and even here. Okay, and then we can put it over. Okay, these are all of the images of the sliders, and we can include this here now. Okay, so I have done this. Uh, now let's reload the page and we should see the sliders appearing now. So this would take some time again, but we'll be able to see uh, the sliders hopefully. Uh, okay, you can see that the sliders are now coming. And if I go to next, next, it would work. Okay, and there will be certain images that won't come because uh, I've not included. So this is how we integrate Bootstrap 5 into the application. And in the next video, we will see how to create layouts uh, using uh, in Laravel 12. And we'll create different layouts like pages, like services, portfolio, and more. So I will put the source code link into the description. So if you would like to uh, view it, you can view it and put down any comments or queries if you have. Thanks for watching.